So I've been asked to um, answer 12b on page 311, which I'm going to do for you, and it shouldn't take too long to figure this one out. If you look at the left side and the right side, um, you can see on this side we have a fraction with a 1 minus sine squared alpha in the denominator. In the numerator, sometimes I would take a look at that and see whether or not it was factorable, but I have a fourth degree and a squared function, and it's not looking very promising. But if I look to the left side here, I see I have a tan squared alpha. And I know that tan is sine squared over cos squared. So I'm going to start with the left side and see where that leads me. And I think you'll see that it becomes just the right thing to do. And that's probably the hardest part, right? Just trying to figure out where to begin. Oops, sine squared alpha. And sine squared, remember, or tan squared is sine squared over cos squared. Now, I do know that cos squared alpha is 1 minus sine squared alpha. So that's kind of a nice thing to know that if I can make a common denominator with these three terms, that I can just change this cos squared anytime I want to a 1 minus sine squared alpha. So I'm going to start by just making everything over cos squared alpha. So I'm making a common denominator that I know I can switch to this afterwards. And if I look here, I have sine squared alpha, so I would have to multiply that by cos squared alpha. And a minus a cos squared alpha times cos squared alpha, so I'm making them all have the same common denominator. And minus sine squared alpha. Now, from here, I'm going to switch everything that's a cos squared alpha into a 1 minus sine squared alpha. And that's the trick to this whole problem. Make everything 1 minus sine squared now. So I have 1 minus sine squared alpha, which is what I want to end up here. So this becomes sine squared alpha times 1 minus sine squared alpha. Remember, that's just your basic um, sine squared. Remember this one? Sine squared alpha plus cos squared alpha equals 1. So cos squared is 1 minus sine squared. Okay, so that's your Pythagorean identity. Okay, so I put in a 1 minus sine squared here, and now I have um, cos squared alpha times cos squared alpha that's just 1 minus sine squared alpha twice, right? I squared, I'm squaring it, because this would have been cos to the fourth if I expanded it, which would be uh, 1 minus sine squared squared. So now I've got lots of sine squareds, which is what I wanted, because at the right-hand side here, they're all sine squareds. So I had to get rid of all these cos squareds by substituting 1 minus sine squared alpha. Now the next part is simply expand and simplify. So if I multiply these out, I would have sine squared alpha minus sine fourth alpha. This times this, this times this. Now be careful here because there's a minus sign here. I'm going to do it very carefully. I'm going to square this binomial. So you square the first term. So one squared is one twice the product of these terms, that's minus sine squared, so minus 2 sine squared alpha. If you need to write it out, expand it slowly, that's fine. But my class would have learned square twice the product and square the last term. So minus sine squared alpha squared would be plus sine to the fourth alpha, and then another minus sine squared alpha all over 1 minus sine squared alpha. Okay, so I did it this way so that I wouldn't make a mistake with this minus all of this squared. But I can see right away, I'll get a red pen out here, I have a sine squared alpha minus a sine squared alpha, so I can get rid of those two terms first. And then I'm just going to expand again here. So I have minus sine fourth alpha. Now minus 1, right, minus plus, and then plus this one plus 2 sine squared alpha minus sine to the fourth alpha. 
over 1 minus sine squared alpha. And here we go, we're there now. So we have minus 1 minus 2 sine to the fourth. That's what we wanted. Look here, minus 2 sine to the fourth. And 2 sine squareds. Yes, I have those. So I'm going to write it in the same way they had there. So 2 sine squared alpha from here. Minus 1, minus 1 more. So minus 2 sine fourth alpha minus 1 all over 1 minus sine squared alpha. So left side equals right side. And you are very happy. Hope that helped.